It is Tuesday, March 3rd. There is over five feet of snow on the ground. The drifts are piled up to six feet and higher. And it's time for another video walkthrough. Where between storms we had a light dusting of four inches last night. There's another storm due in tonight. And it just keeps getting piled higher and deeper. <clears throat> Fortunately, shoveling the driveway and plowing it out is not yet our responsibility, and hopefully there won't be any storms after we end up closing sometime in April. We've switched contractors. The plast during the last three, four weeks since the last video, the plasterers have finished their work, and we now have a painter. So here you can see the payoff for all the extra insulation and heavy-duty windows that we put in. Despite all of the, the bad weather we've had, the huge amount of snow on the roof, there is almost no icing except in the corners, and that's relatively minor. You can see that there are no ice dams along the bottom that are going to be backing up under the shingles and causing flooding inside the, inside the house, and that the snow is falling off the roof down on the corners where gravity's pulling it, but up on top where the insulation is? Hell no. There's no heat going up there to cause it to melt and snow. You can see likewise the house across, the other house that's getting built, there's still snow on that roof as well. Give you a view down the side. I went down and was trudging through thigh deep snow in order to get my usual photographs of uh, the swamp area. Exciting news on the swamp front. We'll be talking about it probably the next video blog. And you can see there's some, some shoveling work back there. Shot down the side of the house. We'll go in the front door. One of the major changes that the additional light does, that, that the painting at white does, is it makes the place seem a whole lot bigger. So we'll admire the view as you come in the front door. The nice architecture of our beam that will be holding the paddle fans. The fans will be showing up along with the electrical fixtures after the painting is done. But it now definitely feels like a huge place. View into the dining room, emergency alternate computer room. See the painter is getting his stuff set up. The other interesting thing that has happened is we now have doors. There are doors everywhere. One of the things I requested was the six panel doors instead of the normal boring ones. Now the, the front door and the back door are the normal traditional ones, but we paid a little extra to get the, sh the more colonial shaker looking style. Moving into the bedroom, and again, the bedroom looks enormous, especially since we're here. It's not sunny, but it's overcast, but it's thin overcast and very bright. More doors in the bathroom and in the master closet. Let's see how dark that can get. Nope. reaching the limitations of the iPad in terms of how much it wants to do video. Going up in the shower stall, they've painted over. You can no longer walk through the wall between the bathroom and the master bedroom. There's now been some carpentry work done on the left stairs, the painter just ducking out of view, looking into the great hall, more work down the 
kitchen area. You can probably, we'll see if there's a view out the window here through the plastic. Nope, it's not res resolving. Mike, the builder, is out with his steam shovel doing work. More views of the kitchen. And we have our pocket door. And this also is the shaker style. So this is the only, this is the pocket door between the kitchen and the utility room, so that we don't have to worry about things in and out. I'm going to skip the basement because we're short on time, and there's nothing particularly new down there. Head back upstairs. is our handrail on the stairs down the basement. One new thing, I now have the stairway and the molding and the crawl space up to the attic where the utilities are. Another door, my $500 glass door, so that Trish and I can see each other even though the door is closed because we're both on conference calls, or more usually I'm on a conference call. More closet door. And then this is the guest bedroom that has an interesting way of hanging closet doors. Painter's working in the bathroom. And we have little tiny baby doors that Trish is not going to allow me to go in and out of to put things in for the crawl spaces. There's one last new feature of the house that Trish said I had to be sure to include in the video, so we'll conclude with that. Nice view of how big the room looks. We have numbers. We now have streets, addresses, 15 Misco Road. I'm not going to do an exterior walkthrough, but that'll be it for another couple weeks. Next up after the painting, the electricity comes, the fixtures come in.